Yes, because some of us will be saying, Am I the only one to restore the marriage? Yes, you are the one to restore the marriage. Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss how women should restore their broken marriage. This is a practical approach as it is based on true life story of a couple who were facing broken marriage. And I believe with God by your side, you are also going to restore your marriage by learning and using the same app. So make sure you sit tight. Make sure you follow through. And if you skip any part, you may miss an important step. So watch to the end so that you get every detail that is embedded in this video. If you are here for the first time, my name is Ivoma Chimobi. Let's get to the video. Broken marriages is very rampant in our society. This is not supposed to be so. You see, many marriages, they are fighting, quarreling there and there, and some marriages are even divorced because of one problem or the other. And the funny, the funny thing is that most of the marriages now, they are speaking together. They're just staying together for ceremonial sake. This is not God's will for us. God did not design a marriage, a place for us to be having problems, to be crying. But he gave us marriage, a place of comfort, a place that we can derive happiness for each other. But this is what the same couple, the couple that we are using as our case study were first. They were fighting, they were quarreling, they separated. They, everything that is happening in our society, we will see it in this couple. So make sure you watch to the end. This is the same couple that had earlier promised themselves eternal love. They promised themselves that they will stay together, they will love, they will be happy to they do, do them part. And truth be told, they were very, very happy at the beginning of their marriage because they had involved God in the process of this, their marriage. God was involved with prayer in every aspect of it. They didn't do it on their own. They were very, very, very patient with God. They fasted. They did everything that children of God are supposed to do before they got married. So that is why they had believed that it is the will of God for them to get married. And they were happy initially until Satan crept in. So my sister, do not say I am a child of God. I pray. I fasted. I did this. I did that before I got married. That means that my ma marriage cannot have a problem. It is not so. It is not that when you do all these things that your marriage will not have problem. My sister, one way or the other, your marriage may face one challenge or the other. But the message today is that you should not give up. Do not give up. Do not say because you are facing this thing that that is the end of your road. No, just be patient and see what actually happens to this couple. After they had faced this, all these challenges, what really happened? So later... Later on in their marriage, as they were staying together, they were happy. Satan saw that their happiness was growing stronger. And then Satan came in and tempted them through their high expectation of each other. How the husband expected the wife, the things, all the things that the husband expected that the wife should be doing and the things that the wife expected that the husband should be doing when this their expectation this their high expectation was not met problems started problems started among themselves they started misunderstanding themselves they started quarreling when the husband saw the incompetencies of the wife how the wife is not able to perform the basic duties and responsibilities that she is supposed to perform and the wife, on the other hand, was also those expectations that she thought that the husband would be doing, the husband was not doing. One day, the husband called the wife and asked the wife, before we got married, what are those things that I told you that are important to me in marriage? So the wife started listing them. The wife mentioned washing of your clothes, cooking of your meals, sweeping the house and making sure that the environment is clean organizing the house organizing the house and keeping it tidy every time and also good sex 
the wife, the, the husband and said, thank God you remember all these things. So you still remember all these things. I just want to bring it to your notice. I want to remind you that these things are very, very important to me. And if you do not do them, if you do not do them, I will go and marry another woman. I will go and marry another woman who will come and do this thing for me. My sister, as time goes on, we discover that why the husband placed emphasis on these things was because he was not good in this aspect. So he needed the wife to compliment him. The wife to do, be the one that will tidy. The wife to organize. The wife to make sure that every way is tidy. But the wife was willing in her own own heart to make sure that she does these things that the husband demand from from her because she really loved the husband so as times goes on the wife struggled the wife struggle on her own aspect to make sure that she does all those things to make sure that she cleans the house to make sure that she sweeps she prepare meals but the husband her best was not good enough for the husband her best was not good enough for the husband. Maybe so the wife thought. Because when the husband called the wife and asked the wife, why are you not doing these things that I'm expecting? I'm going to marry another wife. Oh. So when the husband keep on telling the wife this day after day, keep on reminding the wife these things, the thing hurt the wife. And the wife started feeling, why would my husband be saying all these things why would my husband not consider me why would my husband don't want to understand me after all on his own aspect i am also i try to understand him i try to be supportive because the husband on his own side did not have money as at that time so the wife was putting hands together with the husband to make sure that they have ends made so the wife was supporting the husband very well in the family so the wife now felt why won't my husband also support me we also discovered that the wife was from a family that has mates yes in their family mates were doing everything almost every house choice for the family and the wife coming to this marriage and the husband demanding all those things for the wife though the wife in her own heart she was very willing Yes, she was willing to do all these things because she truly loved the husband. So she started to make sure that she sweep, she cook, she do all those things. But her best, all the effort that she was putting, her best was not good enough for her husband. Her best was not good enough for her husband. So the husband keep on pushing these things, keep on telling her, and these things started breeding negative feelings between them the husband the wife started feeling that her husband does not love her that that is why he is finding fault in everything that she is doing so as time goes on the uh, the negative feelings was enhanced when the wife asked the husband he said i saw in your phone you store your mother my love please i want you to remove her name as my love as you have married me i am now your love in this family so remove her name as my love and store her name as anything any other thing imagine jealousy jealousy the wife was jealous in the mother-in-law so she was more disappointed when the husband refused to delete the contact that he stole the mother as my love so this keep on hurting the wife the wife said oh so my husband does not love me that is why he cannot do these things he cannot do those things that i'm asking him to do imagine but for a truth the husband was self-centered if i may say because the husband always want the wife to understand him to understand his decisions his positions on things without letting the wife know the reasons that is you just want the wife to understand why he is doing this and why he is doing that you understand so without telling the wife without explaining he did not actually care how the wife will feel when he take decision on this thing or how she will feel when he's taking this decision on 
the other one so this also coupled with the wife was like feeling oh you are selfish me i'm the one i always think about you but you, you are not thinking about me you're not considering me in any thing are we together so their issues was increasing day by day to a point where the wife will call the husband and the, the wife will go to the husband for sex the husband will refuse each time that the wife will go uh, go to the husband the husband will be pushing the wife away the wife keep on begging the husband so with the rejection that the, the husband is giving to the wife each time that the wife is going to the husband that the husband is rejecting the wife this also increase the wife's feeling of being rejected and also increase the wife's negative uh, energy negative reasoning that the husband does not love the wife so this most of the time the husband will reject the wife for no reason and at, if at all he wants to give any reason he will tell the wife that the reason why he's pushing him away is pushing her away is because her body, her private part is having order and this hurts the wife even more the wife started imagining why is this so now when before i got married i never experience this kind of thing nobody has ever told me that my body is having order and all those things and coupled with their marriage of five years without an issue where the husband from time to time will also be blaming the wife that she is the reason why they are not having child also the wife thought that the husband was blaming the wife because from time to time anyway the husband will call the wife why are we not having children so these keep on adding up the negative feelings with them and as the husband was withdrawing from the wife and the wife also was increasing her energy negative energy this keep on making their marriage to go more sour and sour every day so as the issues continue as the issues continue there was no more communication no more love no more affection togetherness everything was just going in backward everything was just going on uh, anti-clockwise so the wife started desiring she had the feeling of to be loved she started desiring to be loved because of how the husband was rejecting her so this started as a discussion in her workplace each time that she goes out she leave the house she will use her workplace as a place of comfort she'll be going out with her colleague during lunch time to go and eat and discuss and from there she got closer to one of her colleague and the the closeness keep on going closer closer every day each time that she will have problem with the husband she will now run to the person as a listening ear because there's no more good communication there's no more communication in the family so she was seeing this person as an alternative someone that is listening to her so as the relationship keep on getting stronger it led to lost she started lost him and this the 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 fact that the husband was telling her that her body is not smelling well and that she is the reason why they were not having a child that she's the reason why they are not having child this also made her to say ah, why why is this happening because during her during her childhood when she was still young she conceived and she had a child when she was young she said but i don't have i didn't have any difficulty in conceiving and i nobody i didn't have any uh, this thing of somebody telling me that my body is smelling why is it now so this thing as she's going going closer to this person she was tempted to say can i try and check to confirm whether these things that my husband is complaining is truth seeking temporal solution seeking temporal solution she thought that that is a solution whether maybe as she maybe if she try outside whether she can be able to conceive or for her to try outside and say whether it's, it's truly her that her body is smelling all that is because the husband does not love her and that is why he is using that as an excuse imagine 
imagine. So as this continued, one thing led to another. Bam! Finally, she entered into the scene of adultery. She committed adultery. It was then that the thing dawned on her what she was doing. She now remembered that, that the Bible said that all adulterers will go to hellfire. That is when that she realized, ha, what was I doing? What was I doing? That's when she asked herself. So, my sisters, at this point, at this point of the story, at this point, at this stage of their broken marriage, at this stage where the wife ended up committing adultery, who do you think was at fault in this case? Is it the husband or is it the wife? Let us know your opinion. Comment it down below. Let us see who was at fault in this case. So, broken marriage of this sort, broken marriage that has entered into adultery. The question now is, how was it restored? That is the question. That is the question that we are answering in this video. How was a broken marriage of this sort, how were they able to restore? How did she able to restore this her marriage to a point that the marriage is even stronger and better and happier than when they got married how did she do it that is what we are here so number one the first thing that she did was she took decision after she realized her position, after she realized what she has done, going to go and commit adultery, which is against her, against her beliefs, it is against her husband, and it is against God Almighty. God said that we should not do it. When she realized this thing, she took a very solid decision. Yes, she she told her herself that it is better she will lose everything on this earth, but gain heaven it is better that she will lose everything but gain heaven this motivated her coupled with her conscience day by day her conscience was disturbing her you have seen you have done wrong you have seen you have done wrong so she took a very conscious decision to go and tell the husband she made the decision to let the cat out of the bag so the second step that we consider here is that she decided to confess. Confession. Confession is the second step that she took. So, in the step of confession, how, how did she go about it? After she had taken the decision to face her sin, to face what she has done for the sake of God, for the sake of heaven, heavenly race that has been her primary goal in life, she now decided to go and tell the husband. Yes, she, she told herself, well, I am going to do what is right. She didn't mind whether the, this her confession may lead to the marriage being separated. But her conscience guided her. So one early morning, she woke her husband up and she cried fervently and told her husband everything, what she has done. So at first, the husband took it with mixed feelings. He did it in either show anger nor happiness. But what he did was that he thanked her. He said, thank God that you told me this thing by yourself. Because I didn't mean I find it out by myself. You would not have had any excuse. So as she continued to cry and beg the husband for forgiveness, she started telling the husband that it was because you were... Uh, 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 we were complaining that my body is having odor and because of her childlessness now uh, these are one of the things that motivated her to go and do these things why as she was saying this thing the team made got the husband angry more the husband be became very angry he said oh after what you have done after what you have done you want to justify your action you are giving me the reasons for what for for doing this and for doing that were you supposed to do it were you supposed to do it so the husband now got angry and said i'm going to tell your family she begged the husband she begged the husband that the husband should not tell the family but the husband insists and went and 
told the family and why she begged the husband is that the family is a christian family and she respects her family so much so much that she was so much ashamed and she was begging the husband not to tell the family but the husband went her head and told the family which is one of the thing that she was doing that the husband always does whatever he wants to do without considering her but at this point those things did not matter to her anymore so after the husband told the family her family of uh, everything what she has done the husband now so uh, the husband now tell her to stay away from her tell her to stay away from her so at this point what did she do again what was her next step because at this point she does not know whether the marriage will still stay together or whether they have divorced what was her next step that is where we are now so the step number three that she took is that she submits total to the will of god submit total to the perfect will of god so the period that the husband gave her that's that was around seven days period she now decided to use that seven days period to go closer to god she went close to god and she submit herself entirely to god because she felt what she had done was really bad and that her place is really 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 bad so she was begging god for forgiveness earnestly that god should forgive her that she wants to make heaven she wants to go heaven that was her primary goal and her focus point her prayer point was god none of self and all of thee at this point she put herself to death her feelings her desires her rights her privilege everything that has to do with her she puts all of them to death she now receives the life that christ gave her yes she now told herself <clears throat> that she is now living the life of christ so she now submitted herself totally to the will of god and she was begging god that god should have mercy and also if he pleases God, that God should restore her marriage. So this fervent prayer, this uh, seeking of God, God, I believe God, yes, with the story showing, the story showed that God answered her prayer. Because after the period that the husband gave her, period of separation, the husband now decided to, to take her back. He told her that the reason that he is taking her back is because she confessed this sin with her own mouth that he did not find this thing out with him by himself but that she confessed it so that he's going to forgive her but that she must make him a promise that this will never happen again which she made the promise and she told the husband that she has given herself totally to god's will that she will not do again so at this point did this actually solve the problem can you just tell me write it comment it down below what you could think that at this level what has what happened to the marriage so as the story continued the next thing that she did the next thing that she did is positive mindset positive mindset this positive mindset she made those positive mindset that is after she had allowed the change her change to come from her inside she allowed her change to come from the inside she believed that she must change herself in order for her to be able to change any other thing in order for her to be able to change her marriage situation that she must change herself so how after she has done that after she has changed herself the way she thinks and everything and also submitting herself to god she now make a decision to always position her mind positively 
that was the next step she took i think that is step number four yes she took the decision this positive mindset was very very important to her so that by the time the husband will be showing her those negative attitude maybe like pushing her away like blaming her like finding fault in all everything that she's doing this positive mindset helped her it did not allow her to follow the husband the way she used to follow this positive mindset also helped her and maintain her feelings it did not allow the negative feelings that she used to build herself up to come up again yes as she was she made a conscious decision she was focusing on positive mindset and this actually yielded a good a very very good result for her so the next step that she took was she decided to focus on the cause instead of the effect why is this things happening like this why is he behaving like this why is my husband behaving like this instead of what is my look at what my husband has done look at this look at that she was now determined to find solution she was building herself to be solution oriented so she was focusing on solution the reasons why the husband is misbehaving this guided her on the decisions this helped her to watch the husband's mood to know when the husband is angry and when the husband is not angry this also helped her to know when she could confront the husband when she could complain when she could do this and when she could do that are we together so after the step of making a conscious decision to know always know the reason why things are happening the reason why he's behaving like this the next thing that she did after this this stage the next thing that she did was she decided not to probe yes she told herself no probing no pushing no probing no pushing so this help her even if if she uh, if the husband goes out and come back maybe it's not when the husband's supposed to come back or if the husband does this or that maybe it's not what the husband's supposed to do she decided not to be pushing the husband and to be asking the husband why are you doing this why are you doing that no probing no pushing so this help her this help her to protect her so that she will not be getting angry unnecessarily she was she waits she only waits when the husband is ready to communicate so the communication could flow very well and this actually yielded a good result and another thing another thing and even me i will say that this is a very very important step that she took she decided to give yes she decided to give first this is giving her care giving her love giving her understanding she decided to give her husband everything not minding whether her husband deserve it not minding whether her husband understands her not minding whether her husband loves her the same thing her decision was god told me that i should submit to this man so i must submit to this man yes her decision was a god as a wife she must do all her duties that is demanded of her which is to love to care to take care of the husband to make sure that she does everything that a good wife supposed to do and this actually yielded a good result yes so as she was showing the husband love concern even when the husband was hurting her she keep on doing the right thing she keep on giving wholeheartedly loving the husband wholeheartedly without finding fault without blaming the husband the law of reciprocal setting yes as she was loving the husband as time goes on the husband started reciprocating the love yes the husband started loving her back started giving her concern started understanding her because she first understand the husband because she first loved the husband so 
this gave us the insight this make us to see the powerful scripture in the book of matthew chapter 7 verse 12 and the book of luke chapter 6 verse 31 where the bible told us do unto others what you would want them to do unto you so as she gave the husband the love and care and understanding we saw that the love and care and understanding also was returned to her we also see this when god himself god in first first demonstrated this when he gave his only begotten son yes for god so loved the world john 3 16 told us so god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son god gave us it was not because of our righteousness or our faithfulness no he gave us from his heart in order for him to save us so this woman followed god's footstep and she gave the husband all this love my dear i want to tell you the truth the husband loves the wife now even more than now the way we will sometimes and sit down and ask is this really that same man is this really that same man that was finding fault in everything that i was doing you see is this really that same man that was complaining that i'm doing this that i'm doing that now the wife is even surprised but this is the handwork of god yes this is the handwork of god and the next thing that she did which is uh, to me i will say is the most important thing is that she pray continuously yes she prays continuously even till now she made sure that she is committing every step of her marriage to god in prayer remember that she has already submitted herself to god and she has already told herself god none of self myself is dead and all of thee that is your will your perfect will of god your perfect will let it always be done in my life and in the life of this marriage so she continued in prayer every step everything that she's doing she must pray she must put the husband in prayer she must put the marriage in prayer and this she surrounded the marriage with god and remember remember anything that is built on the rock which is god is always safe and secure and this is how she safe and secure her marriage and as i am talking to you now as i'm talking to you now that marriage is one of the is a marriage that many people are looking up to as an example yes that marriage is one of the best marriage so far because when people see the way they, they are in love togetherness and all those things people started envying them but they don't know that this is the particular marriage that has been broken so what am i saying now if this marriage that had this kind of issue was able to be restored to a point that it is better it is stronger than how it was i am telling you this moment that my sister yours your own marriage can be restored your own marriage can be restored if you believe let me see it on the comment section below tell yourself my marriage is restored in jesus christ's name yes proclaim it so i want to give you this advice if you want a good marriage if you want your husband to love you if you want your husband to understand you make sure you do the same to the man make sure you do the same to the man so at this point i want to i want to beg you if you have derived any value from this video make sure that you give it a like make sure you give it a like and comment and also share it to other women so that they will also benefit from this video because this video is a true life story that is based on a practical approach which 
it's sure and i believe with god you too would apply this approach to restore your marriage remember the first thing is for you to make a decision what level is your marriage today at what point is your marriage is it broken is it separated are you guys divorced are you fighting whatever level that your marriage is today make a decision and that your decision is as from today i am going to restore my marriage yes as from today i am going to fight for my marriage as you made this decision the next thing you do is confess it confess it confess it to the lord the things that you want yes tell your father father i want this marriage to be restored and also go to your husband have a good communication with him tell him that you are sorry for everything focus at this point i want you to focus on yourself do not mind whether the man is doing the same thing that you are doing do not mind yes because some of us will be saying am i the only one to restore the marriage yes you are the one to restore the marriage god gave you the power in proverbs 14 verse 1 the bible told us that every wise woman every wise woman builded her house yes it is in your hands to build a house when you believe if you confess if you hold strong to your uh, uh, to the faith if you believe with god by yourself you will do it so at this point as we were saying focus on yourself go to your husband beg him for all the misbehavior probably his actions used to make you to react bad so ask him for forgiveness in all your misconduct and your especially nagging because we women we can talk tell tell your husband that you're sorry so and the next one after you have done this commit your marriage entirely to god's hand submit entirely to god's hand this is very very important this this is one of the important steps that we always miss when you submit your marriage when you submit yourself me i will tell you submit yourself first because it is yourself that is in this marriage so when you submit yourself first to god and tell your and tell your god god take my life and live god will now come in and direct you god will now come in and take care of your conscience and through god through the power of god in your conscience you will see that things will start getting better yes so submit yourself entirely to to god that god should take absolute control of you everything that god should change you for good yes at this point focus on yourself then build yourself on positive mindset always try as much as you can to keep your mind positive keep your mind positive at every moment of your life yes it is very 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 important sometimes i always tell people look if god come now just as god asks adam what have you done that is the same question he's going to ask you what have you done god will not ask you why are you doing this why did you do this yes so if you say i am behaving like this because my husband is behaving like this you are putting yourself in problem so focus your, on yourself make yourself a better person put yourself in god's hand are we together yes so after you have done this focus on cause focus on cause rather than effect focus on why is this happening in your marriage why are they misunderstanding this will help you to find solutions to those problems yes remember that whatever that anyone believe if you believe something if you desire something hard enough and long enough these things will definitely come to you so if you desire to restore your marriage hard enough and long enough i assured you with the word of god by your side that your that your marriage will be restored in jesus christ's name amen so make sure that you focus on making yourself a better person and the next thing is that stop probing stop pushing stop nagging stop 
talking. It is not by complaining. It is not by talking every time that you can make the man to change. I assured you, the more you talk, the more you knock, the more you push, you are pushing him more away. That is not the right way. So make sure you stop pushing, you stop nagging, and now try to understand why is this thing happening? Why is he behaving like this? Then patiently wait. Only wait when he is ready to communicate. This will help the communication to flow very well. Are we together? Yes. And also make sure that you give. Give those love. Give that understanding. Even if it's the family, people that are the problem, make sure you love them. Make sure you do all those things that a good wife is supposed to do to the husband and to the family. Wherever the problem of your family, the problem of your marriage is coming from, make sure that you provide goodness. Make sure that you give. Give the love. Give the understanding. Whatever those things that you desire to have in your marriage, provide them yourself. Give out and you will see that that God that is the rewarder of those who diligently seek the, him will also reward you. Just as he rewarded this woman in this case study, that same God will reward you if you focus on doing these good things. Yes. So as you continue, also constantly pray. This prayer is not when you say, Daddy, pray for me. Or you go and write prayer requests. Or you go for assignment. No. This prayer is the one that you decide in your heart. Morning, afternoon, and night. If you used to sleep 10 hours, decide to sleep 8 or 7 hours now. Wake up in the night and start praying. Yes, because with prayer, we can move mountains. Start praying. This prayer mostly should be be your inward prayer. God answers your prayer. It's not until a man of God prays for you before God answers you. So pray earnestly from your heart continuously. Even when things get better, Satan is always on the loose to see, to see where he will cause problems, to make sure that the children of God fall away. So even if your marriage is restored my encouragement to you is that make sure you keep praying god has never failed before god did not fail this couple even till now they are very happy and god will not fail you so let me pray for you the creator of the universe the i am that i am thank you for these wonderful women that you have made them to find this video you have made them to listen to this video and you have used this video the message the message that they have learned from this video you are going to use it to restore their marriage oh lord we pray that you change them inwardly let them know that the first thing is that is important is themselves by them committing themselves to you take absolute control whoever whichever woman that will come to you in prayer for marriage restoration may you not turn them back just as you promised you are a faithful god please be faithful to these women and restore their marriage in jesus christ's name thank you very much for staying with me to the end of this video please make sure that you subscribe subscribe to this channel be strong be courageous god has given you the power go and succeed go and build your home may the lord be with you in jesus christ's name amen bye for now see you in the next video